Hi everyone, today we will understand the concept of multi-layer perceptron and simply implement it using TensorFlow 2. Let's get started. Multi-layer perceptron, as known as MLP, is just fully connected dense layers which transform any input dimension to desired dimension. Normally, we train MLP with the objective that the last dense layer's nodes to represent one hot encoded label. Let's clearly understand this concept with simple example. While we will use MNIST for practice, which is 28 rows by 28 column image data, let's use a simpler image data example, which is just 5 rows by 5 columns for better understanding. First of all, we shall reshape image data to be flattened data. As you can see, we can flatten data with a simple TensorFlow 2 code here. The first dense layer will take 25 inputs and outputs 15 outputs. This also just one liner in TensorFlow 2. And if you zoom in the nodes in the this dense layer, you will see the right side node which has sigmoid activation function. Second dense layer is similar to the first dense layer. It takes first dense layer's output and outputting 13 dimension data. This dense layer also uses the same node format which have sigmoid activation function. Last but the most important part is dense layer 3. Its node doesn't have the sigmoid as you can see from this slide, but all node outputs will be normalized using softmax activation. Here you can see the softmax output example. First, you can see the output sum is 1 now. Second, the great value is even greater and small value became very small values. This actually helps minimizing difference with one hot encoded value during optimization. While I put softmax equation in Python in this slide for better understanding, but you ought to write or use this function while you practice, since TensorFlow 2 provides one-liner simple softmax function you already saw from last slide. And then train the MLP so that the last layer's nodes represent the one hot encoded label. After train, you can expect the highest probability node represent the label. As always, you can find my TensorFlow 2 code from my GitHub and practice in Collab. So let's practice. So here is my code. You can run this code by run cell by cell like this. So first this two line is just practicing the softmax equation. But you only need this softmax function because we are going to use TensorFlow to softmax activation instead. So I'm using TensorFlow uh, 2 version here, importing needy, uh, needed uh, libraries here. And this part is collecting MNIST data. As you can see, I'm getting the data from tf.keras.datasets mnist here and I normalize using uh, these uh, lines here. And as you can see, I flatten the data to 28 by 28 data here. So just run this code and my model is just getting the flattened data and first dense layer have 12, 256 nodes in it. Second dense layer has 128 nodes in it, and the last layer have 10 nodes because MNIST data level is 0 to 9, that means we need 10 nodes at the last node. And the first and second dense layer using sigmoid function, and the last dense layer, I'm using the softmax here. And I train the model using the Adam optimizer, and loss function is just cross entropy. So now I just train the model here. Then you can see the accuracy is keep increasing. And it's over 90. 
and now done so I'm going to test this one using these two lines and the test accuracy is 0.9269 I hope this helps you to understand MLP thank you very much and I will see you on the next video